What's going on today, everybody? We're back in the fish room, and on today's video, we are going to be talking about ick, one of the most common bacterial infections that your aquarium fish can get and contract. Usually, it's caused from stress, as well as moving from different waters, like um, getting it from a fish store, they look fine, you bring them home, put them in your tank, and then just the different waters could cause it, you know, or the fish could have it, but you can't see it yet. Now we're gonna talk about everything you need to know about getting rid of ick we're talking about in this video because our brand new MBU puffer has a little bit of ick. Let me show you. I've already started treating it, so it's almost gone, but I figured this is a good learning experience for you guys because we get rid of it fast, trust. Now, let me show you what she looks like right now. Now, she has perked up quite a bit because we are on the tail end of our ick episode. Now, I don't know if you can see if she will hold still here for me. She's got a couple spots on her. Now, can you see on her head? She's got a couple right on her eye and then her rear dorsal there Right on the top, you see how right on the tip there and the tip of her tail, she's got ick. So she might have been in a tank with some other MBUs that were kind of picking on her and there was a little bit of injury there. A little bit of that injury got the bacterial infection, ick. And it just, if you don't catch it quick, the entire fish can be covered in the white spots all over them. That's just a bacterial infection called ick. Now, getting rid of ick, there's a couple different things that you can do to get rid of it. One, you can buy the ick tablets at your fish store or on Amazon, whatever. There's ick tablets. There's, uh, there's some blue stuff you can buy. I'll put it right here. It's like methyl, I, something blue and that helps. Some of them are good for shrimp. Some of them are not okay for invertebrates. Others do this, others do that. Others take care of, um, other medications take care of a whole bunch of things all at once. Now, there's also aquarium salt. You could do the aquarium salt route. It tells you how much aquarium salt to put in your tank for um, bacterial infections, such as ick that we're talking about. Um, but you don't really want to use their specific aquarium salt that looks a little something like this. You want to use that, not like saltwater salt. You're not going to want to use that because it has way too many nutrients that could throw your tank off as well. But there's also a uh, technique that I like to use. Now, those little tablets, all those little, all those little things, they work. They do work, but could ruin your plants. If you have a planted tank and you don't want to remove the fish into a quarantine tank, if your whole tank is destroyed, my number one absolute method that works every time is just raise the temperature in the tank. Now, you're gonna to want to do it gradually because the higher the temp, so you're gonna want your fish to acclimate to the temp as you raise it. Because at a certain, I think it's 83 or 84 degrees Fahrenheit, this in Celsius, at that rate, it speeds up the, it speeds up the life cycle of ick, which then kills it faster. So in at, I think it's at 86, 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, Celsius, um, it uh, actually kills and stops the reproduction of ick. Now, right now I have this tank with our MBU puffer that has the ick. I've had it at 87 degrees. 87 degrees is money. And yes, I know it sounds hot, but trust me, it is the fastest way to get rid of ick. And look at her, she's doing just fine. It's not like the water temp is bothering her, but you can still see a little bit of ick on her forehead. And then there's a little bit on her fins, but nothing too bad. And I don't know if you could tell, She's got an appetite for some snails. So we are gonna throw some in there for her as well. Like I said, there is a whole bunch of things you can do for ick, but I believe the number one thing you can do for ick is just raise the temperature. 
You raise that temperature, you gradually get that temperature up between 85 and 87 degrees Fahrenheit, and that'll pretty much take care of your ick and get rid of it for good. Now, when the ick starts to fall off of your fish, you're going to want to gravel vac. You're gonna, cause the ick, when it dies off, it's gonna just fall off the fish. It doesn't just like disappear. It actually dies and falls off. So what you're gonna wanna do pretty much every day is you're gonna wanna gravel vac to get rid of that ick that's in there. I've also found that if you have snails in the tank, the snails will actually consume the dead ick and then it's just gone. So if you have some snails in there, that will definitely help. But if you have snails in there and you use like the ick tablets or anything, you need to make sure you have like snail safe and invertebrate safe ick that you're using. Now the nice thing with raising the temperature is there's nothing to go wrong. There's nothing for them to, there's nothing for the temp to kill. As long as you do it nice and slow, you usually do the temperature increases within about 24 hours. So if you have your tank at 78 degrees, 24 hours, you should slowly increment it up to 87 degrees, 85 to 87. Now, I know you can get away with doing 83, 84, but that's gonna take you about a week. A week, week and a half, maybe two weeks to get rid of that ick. Now, you don't wanna wait that long, right? You don't wanna have to have your fish struggle with ick for that long. So, the higher you bring it up, the quicker you can get rid of it. As you can see, she is looking for some snails. But yeah, like I've been saying, ick, not a very common thing that I have in my fish room. As you can see, all these fish are doing great. Brand new fish that we got, absolutely zero signs of ick. Everybody's doing wonderful in here and just waiting to be fed. Same with those nice yellow tail ACI down there. So yeah, I would say that is the number one way to get rid of ick, in my opinion. Don't take, my opinion ain't it most of the, well, some of the time, but I would say it's the easiest, it's the safest, it's the most reliable, it's cheap for you guys, so then you don't have to go out and buy it. It's readily available. If you got a heater, you just crank that heater up and you're good to go. That ick will get taken care of, I promise. Now, that will work some with some other type of uh, bacterial infections, but most of the time, if it's not bacterial or it's like a parasite thing, most of the time that's not gonna get rid of your parasite thing. Most of the time you will have to dose with that uh, methylated blue or parasite something. Yeah, whatever, you look it up, you, yeah, I need this, this, and this, take care of this, you know, the whole works. But most of the time, if you keep your tanks nice and clean, healthy, planted, you don't have, really have to worry about any bacterial infections or anything really going on. This is just because the fish got stressed out, some of the fins had a little bit of tear and whatnot, so that ick latched right onto the tears in the fins and whatnot, because there, there was a little bit of tears on our fins, nips, the probably, he probably had them in a tank with other MBU puffers, and sometimes they nip a little bit, so. That's probably what caused it, along with the stress from getting shipped here. That's about what you need to do for ick. Not a whole lot to it, easy peasy. Just be very vigilant. It, once you see it, nip it in the butt right away so it's not spreading to any other fish that are in the tank. If you nip it right away, it's usually never a problem. You're able to catch it and it's gone within three to four days. Like I just turned her tank up yesterday and I mean, she's she's lost half of the ick that she had on her. So yeah, and I would say she's ready for some food as well. So we'll go ahead, we'll throw some snails in there for her. And yeah, we'll see if she devours them. And we got plenty of snails for her to eat in this stock tank. Oh yeah, get in there girl. Look what you got there, little boy. Oh. Oh, you can audibly hear it. You guys probably can't. Look at that. And you guys can see some of the ick now. 
when she holds still a little bit, kind of on the tip of her tail as well as on, on that dorsal that's flapping like crazy. But yeah, that's gone down significantly, trust. What a beautiful fish. Look at her belly's already double the size it was just by those little snails. Dang! Oh my gosh. Look at her belly. It's double the size. It's double the size. Get in there, Denise. Get him. Oh! Yeah, there you could see some of the ick. Not a whole lot on her. She's probably got like 20 pieces on her now. That's about it. Belly's already doubled in size. Nice. So yeah, that's pretty much the best methods for getting rid of ick and getting rid of it fast. My opinion, number one, just raise the temp. Number two, if you have aquarium salt on hand and have a separate tank to put them in with the aquarium salt, go ahead and do that as well. You can do both. If you guys like the video, like and subscribe. We're still on our way. We are still on our way to 5,000 subscribers. Still on the journey up, baby. We're just tr chugging along on this mountain. We're going to the top. And then once we get to the top, we're gifting you guys one lucky subscriber merch drop our first hats these are old hats our first merch drop hats and our first shirt apparel shirt let me show you the shirts i'll show you guys the shirts what you guys are going for i haven't got the hats made yet but i'll show you what the shirts look like that's the backs of them a nice colorful beta fish baby are you kidding me look at that that is insane and a nice little logo in front Look at that. Nice, crisp, clean, gonna look money. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Look at that design. A colorful beta fish? Come on. That's what you guys are going for. 5,000 subscribers. We're giving one of you lucky subscribers that shirt and a custom hat, baby. So yeah, share, send it to your friends, family, grandmas, granddads, all of them. But yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.